What's going on everybody? Welcome to Blind Power. Today I'm going to give you five tips to avoid eye strain so that way you can you know keep your vision acuity for longer and keep healthy eyes and healthy brain. So the first tip is keep the whatever you're doing so say if you're on the computer on a CCTV or on your phone or if you're writing on paper and you have a lamp over your head you know illuminating what you're writing make sure everything is the same brightness brightness is very important because if if whatever you're doing is darker or brighter than your surrounding area your your eyes are going to try naturally to focus on the two things at once or your eyes are going to try to focus on the outside everyone's different but for the most part having two different tones around you while you're trying to read something or focus on something it can you know really make it hard to just focus on one thing especially you know if it's way above the 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 surrounding brightness so that's the first thing I've learned that the hard way as a computer programmer the second thing I want to mention is have the proper appropriate colors around you for when you're reading so say if uh, you know you, you like uh, blue and uh, yellow in your CCTV and your computer and your phone or whatever and then you have um, in, in your in the dark the blue and the yellow are really bright colors so they could kill your vision if you're in the daylight it might not take as much effect but if you want recommended environments you know put uh, blue light bulbs and yellow light bulbs around you so that way your eyes uh, have a balance from what you're reading and your surroundings and uh, that'll really help because I've I, I use when I program I use dark mode and I like to keep my room dark so that way when I I only see the code and I don't see the surrounding parts of the code and my eyes only focus on the code so that's one thing if you like uh, if you like you know uh, black and white lettering you know and you have a dark room that's perfect because you only focus on the letters or if it's daylight and you use white background and black letters then you only focus on the letters but you want to make sure it's the same tone as your surrounding as your surroundings and number three, the third thing I want to talk about is um, have the proper font size. So, you know, some people may be ashamed, oh, you know, uh, my peers say that I could, that they could see what I'm seeing across the room. Who cares? Don't be embarrassed of, uh, you know, people seeing what you're reading across the room. Who cares? Read it, what, whatever you need. If you need large font, use the large font because that way it's easier on your eyes. That's one of the main big ones is large font. You don't have to squint to read and you save yourself a lot of eye, eye strain as well. Um, you know, and the best way to do this is, you know, sit at a distance that you feel comfortable from the monitor or the phone or CCTV, whatever. Um, and you know check the font and even on paper too you know sit at, the, at a distance that you feel comfortable and then start playing with the with the font sizes and you can do this on print as well so you know grab different papers with different font sizes on the computer you know maybe try 12 14 16 18 20 22 24 blah, 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 you know so on and then you go page by page by page and you figure out okay i like this distance with this font size and then you know what you like on paper and you do the same thing on the computer and that way you get an idea of your proper font size for the proper distances that you feel comfortable with one of those examples is i like to code sometimes on uh, I have a huge uh, ultra wide monitor and I use size 36 and it may be overkill but it may it makes me you know program better and uh, I can actually not have to strain my eyes and squint to look at everything it's kind of my eyes are chill and I can see all the fonts and all the stuff properly because it's large enough the fourth thing is have a proper screen size or paper size or whatever so that way uh, if you if for example if you're trying to read even if you're trying to read large print on a little business card you know the large print on that business card may be smaller because of the size so if if you feel like uh, you need a bigger paper to cover the rest of your vision so because if you have a little paper and then say if you're holding a paper like a business card in front of you in front of your face naturally you know you're gonna get in the eye strain if you're reading it for too long because you see everything around it so try to have 
uh, if you're reading on the paper, you know, a, a little business card, for example, put a, a big paper behind it so that way you can read whatever you're reading and, um, you know, your eyes aren't trying to focus on that and not trying to focus on the surrounding area because if there's too many distracting backgrounds uh, on paper and, you know, uh, or whatever, say, you're using a computer and you have a background, too much of a background, then you may need to lean in closer or get a bigger computer. The point is, whatever you're reading, make sure that that whatever surrounds what you're reading, a computer, or a CCTV, uh, paper, make sure it covers most of your of your vision view, you know, it, peripheral, not necessarily, but like your frontal vision view, so that way, uh, you know, you avoid eye, eye strain. So, say for example, um, you you're reading a business card and you have and you're sitting in a car you know your eyes are, gonna, are naturally you you're not thinking about it you're, you're reading what you're reading but you know subconsciously your eyes are darting around you know trying to see what's behind it so really really uh, something that you should take in mind or if you really want to just keep a, a white paper so that you can put whatever you want in front of it and Read, you can even read it faster too because one reason why you know sometimes visually impaired we have slower reading is because of the fact that you know your eye can't focus properly so that helps you with the focus is have, have you know even if it's like a laminate that's white or something and just have it in the background so when you're reading something that's white that's cool you know it keeps your eyes steady the fifth one is every Every you know couple minutes, so depending on five to ten minutes, you know even if you know you stop reading for one or two seconds and you just close your eyes for a little bit, and even if you don't feel tired, you know close them, and that way uh, you, know, you 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 get back that little bit of a break. So if every five minutes you're closing your eyes for thirty seconds, do the math. You're saving yourself time from doing nothing because it takes longer to to come back from eye strain rather than to come back from a short eye strain so if you feel like your eyes are barely getting any heavy close them for you know until, until you don't feel them you know heavy anymore and that way you can actually um, you know go back so short short I call them eye breaks so short eye breaks and then continue that way you don't have to take a longer one because your eyes are so screwed up you can't come back from the eye strain so uh, you know some some people come back from it slower some people come back from it faster but it's it's rather just to do the little five every five minutes to ten minutes you know just close your eyes and for 30 seconds and you save yourself a little bit of time that way so sometimes you gotta make time to save time um, that's one thing that uh, you know that that you you barely think about in life is you know for certain things you have to make time to save time so I hope you guys enjoyed those five little eye strain tips um, blind power officially has uh, Instagram and Twitter and they are in the outro so you can see them and they're in the description so uh, anyways comment rate subscribe you know what to do I will see you in the next video and uh, I hope this video uh, you know teaches you something about eye strain. I've learned these things as a computer programmer for almost 10 years. I, I'm 23. I started when I was 14. So anyway, see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Hit the subscribe button and remember to enable the notification bell to get all notifications of blind power uploads. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.